Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to my new video. Uh, I, I uh, you know, as written in the title below, I'm acquiring the services of one of my favorite iRacers, uh, who has uh, provided us with uh, a very good setup for the usual races that I do in Formula Renault 3.5. Without this guy, I don't think I would have enjoyed this series that much because it was very challenging to do your own setups. Yeah, but nowadays we've seen a lot of uh, setups floating around the market. But I find his setup the most stable and probably the most easiest for you to improve your time on. But having said that, after nine, ten rounds in uh, this season, I still find myself three seconds. Uh, two seconds uh, slower than the top split guy. So I am trying to find ways to improve myself. And I think one, aside from doing a practice, repetitive practice on your own, I thought that uh, acquiring services like this could probably save me more time and uh, would uh, help me identify some of the bad habits that I have. So yeah, without further ado, this is Suelio Almeida from Majors Garage. I have acquired his services and he has, uh, he has uh, kindly uh, agreed to be in one of my videos. Some of you may know him from uh, Major's Garage, but uh, yeah, here it is. Without far further ado, Suelio Almeida. Hey, Suelio. Hello. Yes, thank you. Your mic is fine now, yeah? Good? Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think so. Yeah. So please give, uh, uh, to, uh, for those uh, who haven't heard about you, if you could give us a quick introduction of yourself, please. Um, so my name is Suelio Almeida. I'm from Brazil. I'm Brazilian. And I started in race, I racing in around 2018. So that's two years and a half to three years. Um, not yet three years, I think. So actually, I'm a pianist. So I play piano. I'm a musician. And I'm doing my master degree in piano here in Canada. Uh, so when I started iRacing, I was really, really uh, obsessed with getting faster in less time. I, I wanted to really be efficient. I wanted, I wanted to really drive a lot. So, uh, and I, I was learning the techniques of learning from music to drive. So I was learning setups learning driving i was reading a lot of books and i was uh really trying to absorb the maximum uh, i could so i i went quickly to um, a very very good performance mm -hmm. and i realized that i really liked this so mm -hmm. i i started coaching actually to pay my university in piano mm -hmm. and then uh today i have coached more than 220 230 students so I went viral in a way, mm. and now I am. I work making setups to Majors Garage uh, mm -hmm. in the Formula Three, Formula Three Point Five, Formula One, Dallara IR Zero One, and I also am an instructor at Driver Sixty One, which is a a real life school that now is creating a sim racing academy for iRacing, Assetto Corsa, and other games. Uh, right now, I'm working only with iRacing, and uh, coaching is actually my main thing now. I mm. actually have worked with drivers from the Super Cup, uh, drivers uh, that are doing the World Championship right now, uh, drivers who actually went to real life. So it's a very, very big thing. I'm really proud of myself being able to, mm. to work coaching all these uh, fast guys. Wow. And yeah, this is what I love doing right now. Fantastic. It's amazing. It's interesting yeah, because uh, uh, music and uh, motor racing what's the, it's the same thing yeah because <laughs> one thing that i've noticed about uh, races is that like for example formula one races yeah they sometimes let them hear the engine note and these drivers can actually guess which circuit it is so maybe that's uh, something that is uh, related to racing and music yeah rhythm something like that is it something that you can relate to it's a very small detail. Uh, mm. Yes, I, I think I, I would I would relate those two things in more general uh, things. Like, for example, how are you able to predict what's going to happen one second ahead in the future? So if you are a good driver, you are braking and you are already your eyes immediately after you start braking, you look to the apex and you as soon as you apply the throttle, you already look there to the exit so your your eyes are always one second mm. before 
everything mm. is happening. So this this planning before is something that we have to have uh, the same thing in in music. So mm. when you're playing a chord, you your eyes uh, are already going to the next one, uh, and you kind of already know what's going to happen in the very very short future. Mm -hmm. So this kind of um, clearness in your mind, knowing what's going to happen, having a very good plan, mm -hmm. being aware of your context mm -hmm. uh, is what's really, really similar in mm -hmm. those two things. So, of course, when you get to details, what you have to do, how you have to feel the car, the theory behind it, the physics, weight transfer, this and that, of course, you have to learn, you have to practice, you have to create the muscular memory, mm -hmm. but uh, these are just small details that follow still the same rule of if you have a good plan, if you are aware what's coming after, if you look far, and if mm. you know your line, if you know what you want to do, if you know well your references, you're mm. going to be quick. Uh, that's the same thing for a piano. If you know the references, if you, if you know the harmony, if you know what, what, when you're going to, the dynamics, uh, mm. then you're going you're gonna to be a good musician. So that's the principle of my coaching. Basically, it's to understand uh, what tools do we have and how we can use those tools in advance in our mind so mm. we 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 know what we are going to do in the next second fantastic thank you so so full disclosure guys this is actually my second time uh to to uh to uh, acquire his services the first one was in emola and uh, this time i wanted to uh do this again to further polish what uh, i need to do so yeah so just to give you uh, give you an uh, just to give the viewers an overview, uh, Suelio, what would be the one hour session like? What What is going to be the flow of the session? Okay, so right now I developed some different ways of doing a coaching session. Um, mm. I Initially, I, I was just watching the driver drive mm. for three, four laps. I would take some notes here in my right side screen. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we would stop, talk about it. I generally use paint a lot. I really like using paint to mm -hmm. some very simple lines just to describe stuff. Okay. And then we talk about those things and you go back to the track and drive again. This is what I've been doing for a long time now, probably mm -hmm. more than one year. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like doing it. It's very productive. Mm -hmm. But I realize that this is not the only way we can work. Uh, mm -hmm. Some other students now are sending replay files from the races mm -hmm. uh, and we are analyzing racecraft we are analyzing how their moves mm. moves are helping them or not helping them how you can um, psychologically disrupt uh, mm. an opponent and make him do a mistake um, so mm. there are many many small things that we can work just watching replays and actually this is what i'm going to suggest to you because mm. our first session was driving mm. today probably driving too uh, if you want to do on the next sessions uh, a racecraft uh, review you can send you can record your replay files and then you can upload them to me mm. i open them in my simulator and then i i start analyzing corner by corner mm -hmm. uh what you're thinking about when you're putting your car there you're mm. you're fighting for a position and how can, how how close can you get to the guy? Where do you want to go uh, when when there are two guys ahead fighting? When mm -hmm. you are in the triple and three wide, so all those small situations we find in your replay files, and we can always analyze them. Uh, okay. The third way, I can drive a little bit with you, uh, mm -hmm. but I think that that would be a little bit after uh, we do some racecraft sessions with the replay files. Mm -hmm. So I could actually attack you and mm -hmm. and say, hey, defend. Mm -hmm. Don't let me pass. And we would practice a little bit of this racing dynamic. I see. Uh, we can also do a little bit of telemetry sometimes. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are many, many really options. And I think um, the best thing to do is to talk to mm -hmm. the driver mm -hmm. and then identify what do we need to work first. What is the the weakest uh, elo, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the weakest chain, the weakest uh, ring in a chain so we can uh, make your priorities uh, we can work first on your on we can we can define your priorities okay that's mm. that's the best way to put it i see well today i'm not gonna be asking you for the race craft because i think most importantly i think i need to improve on my pace yeah so so yeah so what we need uh, this is my second time so 
what we need in doing this, we can do this. Uh, we usually do this over Discord. Is there any other media that you use, uh, Suelio, when doing this kind of coaching? Mostly Discord. Mm. Uh, Discord is great for everything. We can have a screen share. We can talk with a microphone. I can uh, share paint. I can take print screens of telemetry. Mm. About telemetry, we can use well many many other uh, software. That's really uh, optional, depending on what you what you want, what you have. Mm. I already used I I speed. I already used VRS. Mm. I or maybe just using the replay. Um, mm. I think uh, uh, Discord is the main thing. And okay. then everything else we can like talk about and, and, and decide what we're going to use. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah, so without further ado, maybe I should uh, hop into the iRacing and uh, show you my lines. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's drive. Okay, so wait a minute. It... Okay. Always understeer there. My approach must be very bad. We'll talk about that. Let's move. It's probably the most difficult part of the circuit. Okay, I'm gonna try to push the next lap. The breaking point is hundred uh, thousand, yeah, one thousand, uh, one hundred. Oh yeah. Yes. It's very good. As you can see, my. Best time is 38.2. So. Oh yeah? Why I break in the first chicken is that I, I do it softly. Yeah, I can see that on the chicanes you are not breaking 100%. But before I started, mm. you actually did. You actually did break pretty harder. And oh, yeah? That's how you actually should break in the, in the chicanes. Mm. Um, I would say that you're slightly under the limit on the chicanes. But keep, keep driving the same and move on about that. Okay. 
This is another problem that I have. I'm so inconsistent. Oh yeah? I did third gear there, I think. Wasn't it? Right now, right now it's, four, it's gear twenty four. Oh yeah. I think if you don't shift third before before or mid turn in, mm. you're gonna have a little bit extra engine brake that will make the car turn more. Oh, okay, I see. Find yourself easily on the apex, and you will get back on the throttle early. It, it's very, 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 very important. That you get on the throttle early there because yeah. there's a long straight between. So you need to rotate early and get on the throttle early there. Rotate early. Yeah. Ah, fuck, okay. Yeah, See? okay. Yeah. It's complicated. What you want to do is you want to break even quicker than what you did mm. and immediately start releasing so you were close to not locking mm. uh, if you want to try also what you can do is bring the brake files down mm. one click or two so because right right, right now you locked the front yep uh, if you're more confident you can bring you can bring it down to the rear yeah so you lock last the front you have a car that will, will probably behave better on that initial break. Do you want to try bring the brake files down two clicks? Yeah, so I think the default was 53.4, so I'm gonna do 50, 26 points, uh, uh, 52.6. Okay, let's try that. Okay. It may be a little bit low, but it's good to try. I think a uh, good exercise is always change your brake files and see how the car is behaving under the limit of the braking. Okay. So in my case, I, I used 53.4, but maybe mm -hmm. for you, it's better with 53.1, 52.6, it's pretty better. There's a little range there where you can play with. Okay. And I'll try breaking hard, same way, like very quickly to 100, but then immediately start slowly releasing because the, the speed goes down and we lose down force. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, now uh, it was a little bit under the limit. You were still afraid of blocking. 
So third gear here. And the next one. Next one is third gear, yeah? You see? Oh, okay, I see. You, you need to get used to it so you can find tight, but uh, mm. I think I think it's a lot easier to do the corner in the third gear there. Mm. I think the release point was not that good though, yeah? Yeah, the release was the issue there. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's a little reason uh, we spun here. I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah. Actually, let's talk about it right now. Um, okay. Let's go to the replay and see that the spin there. Mm. Okay, Slow motion. Then I'm gonna load paint and then... Slow motion, yeah? Yeah, uh, let's uh, go to the... Second chicane. Second chicane. Where, where are you spun? Okay. Let's use this, this reference there. Uh, you spinning there and then we will go back to the first chicane. I want to talk about the chicane lines. Mm -hmm. This one here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, let me see my braking there. Ninety, eighty percent. Oh, there's a specific reason you're spinning there. Um, I was, I actually already took some notes before because I saw you were doing always the same mm. similar line. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a way to do, to do actually both chicanes in mm. a very, very fast and safe way. Mm -hmm. Safe in, in, I mean, it's, you won't spin, mm -hmm. um, but there's a little bit of a risk of getting a slowdown. So let me talk about it. I'm going to share my screen now. I'm going to change to the paint screen okay uh let me know if you can see it here okay yeah i can see i can see the okay so we have two chicanes uh, the first is like this and the second is kind of inverted mm -hmm. um so whenever we have a chicane like this you have to build what line you want to do before in your mind. You have to 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 have a plan not only for the entry but also for the exit. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of related to what I was talking about being one second ahead in the future. You have to know what's happening after it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's try building the line. What what is the line we want here? We are going to another straight there is another straight here mm -hmm. and we definitely need a lot of speed so first line we should we should have in our mind is this exit should be really really round so you can have a very good um a very good exit speed then 
we need a line that um, meets with this one. Mm -hmm. So now let's let, let's look for the breaking zone on entry. So you're breaking here, and then you start turning, mm -hmm. and then you get around here. Mm -hmm. Now that's the thing. In between, mm -hmm. you have a choice. If you carry too much speed here, mm -hmm. you'll you'll you will find yourself a little bit here, mm -hmm. and you I, I see that you accelerate, and then you break a little bit again, and you do that. Mm -hmm. This is one of the options. The mm -hmm. second option is staying to the right, staying to the right, staying to the right. You, mm. you still can accelerate a little bit here. Mm. But what you really want to do is make this more open line for the second one, you see? Yeah. And this arc, the, the arc here mm -hmm. is a lot quicker on the exit here mm. than this one. Okay. The this one is okay. you gain time on entry, but then you have a very, very Slow hard exit. time to exit okay. and this is not necessarily what you're doing i i think you want to do the second line mm -hmm. but you're not succeeding because of a single detail at the first chicane i'm talking about the first chicane yeah uh, this throttle here you are applying it a little bit longer mm -hmm. so the car understeers here mm -hmm. and then you have a bad line for this um so be careful where to put uh, the throttle here. So you want to brake, you want to use all the entry. Mm. Try to put the throttle, you see that there is a, a small sausage curb here. Yeah. Try to use that as a reference. Apply mm. the throttle a little bit. Okay. And then don't apply the throttle for too long. It's almost nothing. Mm. And then you already want to build. Remember, this is the important part mm -hmm. because if you have a good exit, you will you will have a lot of time gain on the straight that mm. comes after it. So okay. be careful not to do this. Mm -hmm. Do do it here early. Okay. Uh, so and and then keep the car to the right. Okay. Uh, this is the first thing, and that that's the same thing that you want to do um, on the. Let me see if I can actually invert it. I actually can do that. Cool. Okay, mm. now this is the second chicane. <laughs> so the okay. second chicane, uh, it's the same thing. Mm. Be careful not to carry too much speed. Why did you spin there? Because you went so fast mm. uh, on the entry that you were your line was something like this, mm. and then you you bounced a little bit on the curb. You wanted to turn, and then you sp you spun because you changed direction too much. Okay. So. The most important things about these chicanes mm. will be that being point, yeah. very, very, very tight on the first apex, mm -hmm. so you can generate the second flowy arc. This mm -hmm. is the most important thing. Mm. Now, um, this is a little simulator uh, specific. Yeah, you have to be sure 100 percent sure mm. where you get the slow down mm. so here we have this curb like this mm -hmm. and after it we have a little bit of grass i'm gonna put in brown mm. we have a little bit of grass here mm -hmm. what do you what you want to do is you want to go with this line as early as possible so you are as like the closest mm. to the inside without getting the slowdown. Mm. You have to know where you get the slowdown. You have to get the slowdown uh -huh. and then look in the replay. Oh, okay, where did I put my tire so I got the slowdown? Mm. Because then, if you if you are as close as possible to the to the slowdown here, mm -hmm. you will have the fastest line possible and you will gain a lot of time on this exit. So I want you to identify this this slowdown sensor mm. both on the first chicane and on the second chicane. Okay. So let's make a quick recap of what I'm talking about. I'm talking about focusing on the exit arc mm -hmm. so we have a very good speed mm -hmm. and focusing on, on a very, very good entry on the first apex without getting a slowdown. But you have but for that you have to know exactly where, where you can put the car okay so let's check now mm. the first chicane on this replay 
Mm. Uh, that it did. Actually, the, the replay of the last last boss before this one. Sorry, sorry. The replay of the first chicane. Let so, just so we check mm. uh, how we were doing before. Where did I get an off track there? No. I don't think so. Yeah. So maybe. Okay, let's go to chase cam. Chase. one here mm -hmm. okay pause sorry <laughs> let's pause on the first apex <laughs> let's pause on the first apex here okay do you where do you think you get the slowdown using this line i don't know did i get a slowdown here exactly no you didn't uh. so that's the thing you don't know where you mm. get the slowdown uh. so it's more difficult when you don't know where is the actual limit to always be on the limit so mm. you have to know where is the slowdown mm -hmm. so you can use the most curb possible mm -hmm. before getting it okay and now let's see what you did on the change of direction actually before play mm. tell me where do you think you wanted to be here on before changing direction so i think w what i did yeah so after completing this apex right here, I am so focused on the apex here. And I am... Oh, the next one? Mm. And plus, I'm having an understeer. So I am very, very, uh, you know... I don't know. I just wanted to take uh, get on the second uh, second apex here. Very quickly. Got it. Because with the, with the understeer as well. But w based on your advice, I what you're telling me is that I should probably sacrifice a little bit of momentum here stick it to the right side here and have a more cleaner approach and exit to the next uh, left hander exactly yes mm. that's totally correct because uh, uh, and also you were mentioning understeer uh, uh you're you are actually inducing a little bit of understeer here because of the throttle uh, that's why i said you have to mm. rotate very well Mm. Nowhere is the slowdown, and then you have to accelerate, but just a little bit because if you accelerate too much, mm. then you will understeer a lot more on the knock on the on the next corner. Yeah. So the understeer also causes. So you see now you're changing direction. Remember? Yeah. That's the, that's the first line that I that I drew, mm. that I drew. Yeah. That is uh not giving you a good arc. Yeah. For the second corner. The car should be around here. Yeah. Exactly. I, mm. I, I I don't see your mouse, but yes, mm. that's correct. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> what is going on? You cannot see my... Uh... Oh, okay. I no, see. I can see your cursor. I, I I can only see the, the game, but it's okay. I, mm. I, I, I You were probably mm. pointing to the right, right? To the yes, right line. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> let so, me... Yeah, exactly. So let's focus on that. Okay. Should I hop in now? Yep. Let's do some laps. And the focus right now should be the first and the second chicanes. Let's um, mm. drive thinking about that. You want to sacrifice the first one. Mm. Um, not, 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 not actually not that. First, let's only focus on where the slowdowns are for the mm. first apexes. Remember, okay. that's the same thing that we, we talked about at Imola. Yeah, exactly. Um, we want to use the first curb uh -huh. a lot more. Okay. And we want to know where is the limit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let Otherwise, me check them out. We will never be at the limit. So what you can do, for example, right now on the out lap, uh. go on the inside of the curb and get yourself a slow down, so you can know where you can, where you have it. Mm. First, don't cross it too much. Cross it more and see if you get it. Okay, this will give you a slowdown. Slow down. You okay. got a penalty? We're cutting so the you cord. can go in reverse and try again. So. Try putting the outside tires still on the curb. Or the antenna on the middle of the sausage. Like here, yes. Probably still slow down. Oh no. Okay. So that then you already know how much you can um, Yeah, let me check use. that. Yeah, try going a little bit faster. Maybe the speed uh, was too low. So basically, 
get the thing in the middle. Slow down. Whoa. You got a penalty. Yeah, this is going down the Go a little bit more to the left. This is great. This is exactly how mm. you identify the limit there. How about this? You got oh. that corner. I'm gonna slow, slow down. down. <laughs> so, um. I think now try putting the outside tires on the on the white line. Hmm. That means the left tires on the white line. That will not be as long. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So on the next lap, you try to put the, the tire on the same place. Okay. And then you can even dare to try a little bit more, a little bit more until you start getting slowed down more times. And yeah. Then you will be 100 percent sure. Now okay. for the next one, let's try the same thing. Mm. Here I will give you a tip. So we save some time. You will get to slow down when you touch the grass. On the inside, here on the left. You touch the grass, you gotta slow down. Slow mm. down. You got See? a penalty? It was yeah. very slightly touching the grass on the outside, you gotta slow down. Okay. Try not touching it at all now. Still be close. That's exactly where I look for. I look at the grass and I try to be a little bit away from it. That will not be as well down. But okay. you can use even more. Oh, really? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be surprised. This one, it, you always think you're getting a slow down and uh. then you don't get. So, okay. and that, you, that, that gives you like one tenth more, two mm. tenths of a second per lap. Mm. Just because you're trying, you're using a lot of the curve that is allowed. Mm. Uh, and imagine if you gain two seconds of almost second every lap in a 20 lap race yep. that's already so much time already, exactly uh, one second one entire second i actually uh, lost uh, my, my math my math fail right now <laughs> it's okay i know what you mean Four i want to I am keen to know how I could, uh, how I should approach Lasmo and that parabolka there. So, after this, you can please teach me how to do that. Those two okay. corners. Yeah, I took some notes about them, but I mm. think the chicanes are there. There's more time in the chicanes in the game, so that's why I focused on that. Ah, see. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, let me yeah, do. Yeah, now it's uh, it's also about finding because. Because you, you will be churning a little bit mm. earlier now because you're using more of the first curve, maybe you need to adapt your braking reference. Mm. Maybe that's why I said that maybe you want to give a little bit to late. Mm. Let me do that corner again. Okay. Yes, that is so much better. Yeah. You see, uh, you, you were still not on the limit because you were just thinking mm. about the lines. Mm. But the delta already went free on the exit. That mm. means you actually carried more speed on the exit just because you used more of the first curve. Yeah. You see how much? You, you probably thought you were getting a slowdown there, right? Yeah. Because it was too much, but it wasn't. Mm. So that's how much you can use there. Okay. Let me slow down a little bit more so that I could I have more control in the 
exit. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. That was my reference too. <laughs> okay. I know that uh, sometimes we have a reference and we always break a little bit before the reference to be sure, to be safe. Much better, much better line there. I mean, uh, Ma now you need to do it 30 times, 40 times, 50 times. Yep. So that you can really be sure where you want to go in every part of the corner. But this is already much better. Do the same thing here. Okay. Uh. Um, now, this is a lot better. The entries for the boat chickens are good. Mm. But now you're not sure when you're changing direction. Okay. Remember that for that, mm. your eyes your eyes need to be at the apex. As mm. soon as you are over the first apex, mm. your eyes should immediately teleport to the second apex. This oh. way you will intuitively know where to change direction. Mm. Now break a little bit later here. Okay. Turning, yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now it's too early. <laughs> Shit. And then also, it's definitely necessary that you use the first gear to rotate the car. Okay. On the second gear there, there's no engine brake, and the car under steers heavily. Yeah. Too late, yeah. Now the exit is too easy, yeah. You you can get back a bit far early and change direction early. But hey, it's just a matter of time. I think you found it now mm. the two lines for the chicane. Mm. And for the two chicanes and it's a lot better. A lot So better. the second chicane, my approach is too late, is that right? No, I mean your change your changing direction is too late. Oh the okay. entry is perfect. Okay. Okay, let me try this parabolica here. Uh -huh. Am I at the right right gear though? Third gear.
too late. That's why the car under steered. Because you kept the second for too long. Oh, uh, yeah? You needed the first gear kind of early so it could rotate the car. But look at your Delta, it's still good. Mm. Just because you're looking for the right line now, you're gaining more time. a little bit in front but this is just uh, doing more laps to be comfortable with that now third gear this one aggressive throttle nice yeah Lismo 2 is already much better just by using third gear oh yeah it's a lot more consistent than on the beginning of the session Um, hard initially and then being very close to the apex. Okay, this uh, was better. There was one little mistake you did. Why? You got back on the throttle too early. Too early. Before the apex, yeah. You have to rotate, wait the car to rotate before you apply the throttle. I see. As soon as you apply the throttle, you transfer weight to the rear and the car stops rotating. Yeah. Because you're carrying too much speed. But you see, that's that's normal. Uh, that's actually expected. That when you um, when you're braking for a corner and you and you have a different line, mm. your brake reference should be different. So it's gonna be. It's, it's this requires a lot more training, so you can adapt the braking. But uh, now that you already know what line you want you want to take there. Uh, it's just about a little bit of time until you, mm. until you reach it. But hey, I think this is perfect. Uh, now it's really about... Um, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Mm. And thinking about the connection of the, the lines and how your choices on entry will affect the exit. Mm. And... Uh, you're still slightly under the limit initially. Try to lock the brakes more so you can be sure where are the limits. But it's already better. It's a thousand times better mm. than the first session that we did. Okay, very now good. It's just really about uh, doing more and more laps. Let me do. Those Let me do one more lap, yeah? Sure. Ah, fuck it, man. Yeah. Whew. There's a lot of time to be gained there. This is very good. I think I am too afraid to slow down too much in that ch chicane, yeah? So that's why. Oh my goodness. Was it supposed <laughs> to be third gear? Huh? Was that third gear or was it fourth gear? I don't remember the gear I used mm. there. But uh, the the correct gear was would be fourth gear, yeah? No? I don't remember. <laughs> I did this out of bag one week and a half ago. Mm. And then I've been driving twenty hours of other cars. I see. Um, Yeah, 
okay, I'm happy. Mm. Um, this is this is really good. Okay. Now, again, just like we did on the first session, uh, you were struggling a little bit on uh. the session because you were just understanding uh -huh. what to work. But then today, I can see how well you improved, how how much you improved. You oh. actually did improve a lot on your braking. This is much better. Mm. Uh, you probably don't remember how you were braking before because mm. you said you're still struggling, but it's a lot better already. Mm. Uh, now think a little bit about those lines. You can still be working a little bit more on the I initial brakes. I mean, it's I'm talking about very high level detail. So mm. uh, it's very, very, very close to, to be at the limit there. Mm. So... Gilesmo 2 used the, the third gear. This mm. is a lot better. Mm. Chicane 1 and Chicane 2. Be sure you're as close as possible to getting a slowdown on the first curb. Mm -hmm. You saw how your Delta likes it when yeah. you make it right. Mm -hmm. yep. I think on those two corners, when you nail it, there's going to be at least half a second. I'm not kidding. Mm. Uh, just by positioning the car correctly on the first curb, Mm. The second the, the, the second thing is almost natural. Just mm. by doing more and more laps, you will feel how it's easier to do the exit mm. uh, just by hitting the first apex right. Mm. Um, on the parabolica, it's a lot better if you break at the very end of the green, not mm. before. Sometimes you were breaking too early. Mm -hmm. And wait for the car to finish a little bit of the rotation before you apply the throttle. You're mm. getting back on the throttle too early, so the car suddenly loses rotation. It understeers a lot, and that's why you went wide on that corner where I think you had a perfect entry, but the throttle too early yeah. uh, stopped the rotation. So I wasn't too, um, I wasn't actually too sure if I, we needed to clip the apex and the parabolica, but we do need to clip it, yeah. No, not necessarily. You you don't need to use the curb, but you need to be touching the white line. Okay. So that means being very close to the inside. Mm -hmm. I see. That yeah, definitely for sure. Okay, so l what I learned today is that two chicanes, I need to be able to close to the uh, the off track limit. Make sure to put the car wide enough for me to have a good entry and exit of the of the chicane. And uh, uh -huh. the second else? arc is the most important thing. Yeah, second arc, yeah. not the first, not the entry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, I mm. and the braking, it's it's a lot better. Mm. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, mm. on the brakes, uh, you're braking hard, quick. You're releasing on a straight line, very slowly as the car <sighs> slows down, uh. and you're just locking the fronts a little bit when you are worrying too much about the apex and you're turning early. Okay. But that is adapting. You, you're you just learning this new thing about how earlier you have to turn and you already uh, did probably a lot of laps before doing the different line. Mm -hmm. So you have to, to, to adjust some braking references here and there. Okay. But uh, yeah, this is, mm. this is, this is um, very, very, there's a potential of being very quick here if you if you apply those things. Mm -hmm. I think you will need some hours, probably, possibly some days, mm -hmm. just lapping, but not forgetting about those things. Yeah. If if you can rewatch this video after, to to take notes, mm -hmm. that would be great. Take notes, mm -hmm. make it very simple, uh, mm -hmm. three four lines of notes, and mm -hmm. then read, do some laps, mm -hmm. stop, watch the replay, and read the notes. Mm -hmm. Am I doing that? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. If no, let's go back to the track and mm -hmm. let's drive more. Mm -hmm. Doing that, this having this method of always reading the notes mm -hmm. helps you so much. It's mm -hmm. really good. Fantastic. Thank you so much, uh, Sergio. And uh, uh, so, uh, sorry it took us a, a little bit longer uh, with all this yeah, no se setting up no going on. <laughs> but uh, before I let you go, uh, uh, you know, I want my viewers to know where to reach you. So please uh, tell them where they can uh, actually avail for your services. I believe there are quite a few places they can do that, but uh, any recommendations? Yeah, there are some ways. Um, I have the, well, I'm, I'm a, an instructor in Driver 61. Mm -hmm. 
uh, there are many, many different programs there. And I have my private coaching to, uh, there is a Fiverr link that <laughs> you can put in the description of the video. I will there is also a co my coaching server, Discord. Mm -hmm. So you can join me there. You can add me as a friend, send me a message, and we can schedule all through Discord. Mm -hmm. um, and there is also a Majors Garage a website where you can buy my setups mm -hmm. uh, and also with the setups come the, the B lab files mm -hmm. so we can have my ghost car. There is a video with my lab. Sometimes mm -hmm. I post tutorials too with the video mm -hmm. uh, when I have time. It's being, yeah. I'm struggling a little bit to do the tutorials nowadays. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, those links are, you can definitely contact me through them. Fantastic, mate. Thank you so much. And uh Hopefully, hopefully I, I I can be competitive this week and uh, maybe next week I'll uh, holler you holler you again for another session. Yeah. All right, great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see uh, your driving. It's improving a lot. So if it keeps improving like that, I'm gonna be very happy to see your driving uh, <laughs> on the next next week. No yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I, I think the you know my success is also uh, you know a uh, uh, result of your success too. So yeah. But anyway, th thank you so much. Thank you so much for your for your time. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. Have and a great practice. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Bye now. Bye. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Suelio Almeida. Um, amazing, yeah? So I would not have identified those things if I was just keeping keep on pushing by myself. Again, you need guys to really point those uh, things for you and even though I haven't really improved that much right now but I can feel that at least I can get five tenths of a second sometime after practicing those advice that he gave me so yeah very good so again I would I would put the uh, the link of his uh, Fiverr in the description below and also his discord you might want to check them check him out and you know it's good to have a third person perspective from a professional, like, uh, uh, you know, an alien like uh, Almeida Suelo. I'm sure you would gain something uh, from this session. So I hope, I hope this video kind of help you, kind of help you what to expect from this training. So, uh, but having two sessions already, it's actually not, there's no single template that he uses. He, 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 does different training uh, method in set in, in different different ways in each session. So uh, depending on the agenda that you would like to uh, fix here. Yeah? So hope this is helpful and thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you in the track. <laughs> Cheers.